Good morning guys. So I am on my way to uni. Um, I actually woke up like one hour earlier because we have a LCF breakfast. So it basically means that we have a breakfast for free. So why don't you use this amazing opportunity to have a breakfast for free? <laughs> and I just really hope that they're gonna have something vegan because I'm starving and not all the time is it like that they actually provide something vegan I mean like our lunch options are vegan we have vegan soup and there is we have like two meals and one of them is vegan so I hope they're gonna be that smart that they're gonna have some vegan options for the breakfast though. but let's see and then we have a class we have a lecture and we're gonna be doing like history or fashion photography um, and in the afternoon we have a workshop about processing the color film so I'm pretty excited about that so we came for the free breakfast but festive, festive breakfast <laughs> But it's actually not ready, so we are starving sitting here because our lecture starts in like 20 minutes. So we hope we can grab very quickly to something. We can just like prepare our sandwich and eat it in a class or something. It's an option. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Should have asked Jenny when I saw her. Okay, so. Alright. <laughs> Free food is always perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those images. Yeah. So mainly we sort of think of fashion images. <laughs> if you cannot afford an iPhone, just you can have an Apple. <laughs> do this. <laughs> Advices of Casper. Eat healthy, drink water, and don't listen to me because I'm joking. What's our plan for today? Ahio! <laughs> Plans for today are... What is this place? It's uh, some kind of fancy place where you can print your pictures and it's in shortage. So it's fancy. So it's fancy because, so it's, fancy because it's, <laughs> in it's in shortage. Do you know the name of it? 
homeless people live outside. <laughs> it's, it's London style. <laughs> stands for chromogenic and basically what that means is that on a C-type paper on the surface there's an emulsion coating and within that emulsion coating there are silver crystals that are suspended and when those crystals react with light when the paper is exposed there is a reaction within the paper and that's how essentially the image is formed. Now if some of you guys have had the luxury of producing um, prints in a dark room, do you guys have a dark room? Yes. Brilliant, fantastic. If you've been printing for years, it's so important that before you do any printing, you go for the look at the g and notice that the colours on the gamut strip are a lot more vibrant, especially in the reds. Right. Yep. Free food! Free food! Yeah. Yeah which essentially will float it away from the wall. So you've got that great choice of options. Now, if you are looking to have it completely flat against the wall, I'd probably just advise avoiding the D-rings and cord, just because when it's against the wall, it will sit forward. So ideally, you want it as flush as possible to the wall. So the keyhole fixture is generally probably the most popular option. If you decide to go for the mirror plates, a bit of advice, I'd probably just paint them white, or just put some masking tape over them and paint the masking tape so they're not visible. Hi hey there, so I'm in a studio. I am here alone because I'm trying to set up the light because I have a shoot tomorrow. I've been contacted by uh, Next Model Management by the Male Models Division. So I have first shoot with them tomorrow. So I just want to make sure because I'm going to be using medium format camera tomorrow for the first time. So I just want to make sure that I know how to set up everything. And yeah, uh, I also need to do uh, like a test shoot for my project, which is um, actually auto portrait. I mean, there's like a series of auto portrait pictures. Um, so I'm gonna be working on that. So I have now like two hours to go. So fingers crossed. Don't go any further fast, actually. When you get too much further, you're gonna start getting to the self-portrait. Okay. I'm trying to so wind the flow done. because I'm doing it for the first time with medium format. Hope I'm going to be successful. So I finished the winding the film. So I just hope it's correct because otherwise I'm fucked up tomorrow. Um, because I want to be shooting on this. Like I will do also like digital, uh, digital pictures. But this is the main reason why I am doing photo shoot. So I just went to your burnout fitters to do styling for tomorrow and I spent 300 pounds on styling so I hope that I can return it tomorrow and that it's all gonna be fine because I really don't wanna uh, get rid of uh, 300 pounds in for clothes in your burnout outfitters because I don't wanna support this kind of brand but yeah, what can I do? Next time, I hope that all my stylists are gonna have time to do styling for me because I feel like I, I really admire you guys how you can do it because I, feel, I felt like, oh my god, I just lost my 300 pounds and you need to do this like all the time and just like take care of the clothes and everything. I just like have my super expensive camera and that's all, but it's like, you know, it's like my baby and I just care about that but like clothes, oh my god, you know, if, if the model is irresponsible then you basically I might need something in Waitrose but if, if the model is just like I don't know, whatever, like eat an apple and there's a drop from apple on the t-shirt then you lost 30 pounds if you bought t-shirt for 30 pounds.